Right, please do excuse the mess on the table. I just had to grab the camera for this. Um, what I'm doing now is trying to combine various effects learned from Dr. Stifler's work past few days and what have you, and indeed years though. Um, this is back to the one and a half volt Slayer Exciter circuit that I've been showing for a few videos before the SFM. And it's one with a little tunable um, variable capacitor. Now, as I say, 1.5 volts. What I am so shocked about is the distances going on between things. This one here out in space here, uh, you can see the LED is on. I shall turn the light off a moment. There we go. There it's on. And the thing is, he's got those four diodes, as lid motor kindly uh, showed in his diagram, of how the Stifler loop is arranged. And that's just... See, I can put my hand in the way. You just look, I mean, there's whole hand distances going on here of space differences. I, it's just, it's just amazing for one and a half volts, in my opinion. We go up here, I've got a uh, green lead coming off the, well, what is an L3, in effect, pigtail, up to the SFM circuit, which itself is connected to the uh, magnets and then through the two pieces of plastic to the coil there, and uh, just a clip lead hanging off the back of the LED. And the LED is on quite nicely in a way, um, just off that connection, which is pretty good. And then over here, we've got this other one out in space somewhere, where I've got the uh, an AV plug, an AV plug, just standard AV plug, going into an exact same circuit as this one. So it's another Slayer Exciter circuit. The LED is on, and all I've got is a wire coming off its pigtail out into the the open. But I mean, if I'm away from all this. The whole lot keeps on running, and the distances are just incredible, in my opinion. Uh, tuning wise, we've got a ferrite rod inside here, so I can change this and it goes in and out of tune quite readily actually, and get it just right. The LED stays on quite nicely. There's a fair old brightness to it. And it's out there in, like I say, in space, I keep saying the same word, but flipping hand distance between just like two of the wires. So I thought I'd uh, just post this, and uh, it's really quite incredible, especially as I say, we've got this uh, four diode arrangement, um, the Stifler loop, which is certainly doing something. That's quite the, quite the distance between that, that's running just at one and a half volts, and what we've got going on all around, which is Dr. Stifler's work. And hopefully it doesn't mind me posting something that's got a Slayer Exciter as the driver. Just to note on the end of this video that this one does have a ferrite rod inside, this one has the tunable one, and this one has no ferrite rod. I did just disconnect, I thought I'd done with the video, but I'll just plug it back on again, and now you can see that that's on, that's on, that's on over there. And this one has actually gone off now, so, can I bring it, well, there you go, let's see, if I bring my hand here, we're getting all the effects that might be expected. Um, with hand with body capacitance, if I can just tune this a little now, see it's knocked out. It is running, but it's not quite as good as it was. If I move this lead slightly, see there's the thing. It comes in and out, not always with proximity, say to this driving circuit. It's another strange effect. I can moving it further away can sometimes bring it well like that. It can bring it better in tune. So that's another big difference to, to what would be expected. So I'll move it around, say, further out and over here, and there you go. That's on better. And I actually moved it away. So that's another very strange effect of all this. Move the wire further away, and it comes into tune better. So there we go, and uh, thanks for watching.